electrical and computer engineering is always changing. It's really a growing field. Everything can be made smaller and faster. It's on the forefront of technology with advances in automated vehicles and robotics. I realized how many different things you can do within the major, from RF to computer architecture. You can basically cover anything that relates to modern technology and electronics. Anything that includes both information and physical reality probably falls under the ECE umbrella. You can specialize more on the architecture of computers or on the physics side of things, trying to figure out how to make small devices like transistors. You can focus more on the signal processing and information side, or you can mix and match those things in lots of ways. All the professors here are masters in their field, so it's really exciting to see where they're going with their research. We encourage students to you know, approach us if they are interested in the research areas we are engaged in, and then we design a project to help them dive in and understand that subject better. If you're considering a major in ECE, I would recommend taking all of the foundation classes, circuits, signals, and digital logic. None of them give you the same experience as the other, and you'll be able to build your whole Cornell career off of one of those foundations. There's a moment that most students go through somewhere in the first two months where this previously completely abstract subject suddenly clicks. They go off like light bulbs over the semester as it kicks in. At the upper level, it's fun to watch students mature into professional engineers to so be able to develop a project from concept all the way through a reasonable design. I'm on the Cornell Baja Racing Team and I am a member of the Electronics Sub Team. I definitely work with a lot of people from other majors. Coming from an EC background, I definitely bring a different perspective. I know more about how the sensors are actually going to interact with the mechanical components. I understand how to take the data, parse it so that it's usable for the mechanical engineers to validate what they're doing. It's really important to work well in groups. That's something that we do a lot of the time in our classes. And it's important to be able to work with your team to debug your circuit and get to the bottom of what's happening. Life today has been greatly enhanced by digital technologies and ECE was definitely the pioneer in that area.